Today I am so excited to share with you a protocol for cosmetic needling. In this video, I am going to demonstrate step-by-step -step AM and PM, the full start to finish protocol for cosmetic needling. In this video, I am also going to show you some before and afters, some long-term case studies of what cosmetic needling can actually do for your skin. So if you're wondering what cosmetic needling is, it's actually shallow microneedling. So it's microneedling just into the epidermis. So 0.3 millimeters or less. And it's easy to do. It is relatively low risk. If you do not have any kind of an immune system issue, you have very, very little risk of localized infection or systemic infection. So cosmetic needling is pretty appealing to a lot of people. I want to show you the science. I want to show you before and afters and case studies. These are not my patients. These are just case studies that exist that will show you in the long term if you are consistent with cosmetic needling and a protocol that I'm gonna share with you, what you can really do for your skin. You can help with fine lines, you can help with texture, you can help with pigment, and you can help with tone. And it also is fantastic for those of you who have rollers that don't wanna jump into using a pen all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna show those before and after case studies at this timestamp here. If you are new here, my name is Penny. I'm a master esthetician in Portland, Oregon. I'm so excited that you're here. I do hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. This channel is dedicated to skincare and it's dedicated to me sharing what I know from being an esthetician and also being a skincare enthusiast just like you, sharing that with you. I do have a private Facebook group that I welcome you to join. We are 11,000 members strong. It's a wonderful loving community where you can get kind of feedback and we discuss everything skin. And then I also invite you to follow me on Instagram because I share all kinds of skincare content there as well. Okay. So the very first step is of course going to be to cleanse your skin. Now you want to take time and you want to cleanse your skin well because even though with cosmetic needling we are only going in very shallow into the surface of our skin, we're not getting into the dermis, we still want our skin to be very, very clean and we also wanna prepare our canvas for all the good stuff that we are going to put in because cosmetic needling is all about maximum infusion of really, really great things for your skin and it is also about prompting the release of growth factors. So even though it's not medical needling and even though we aren't getting into the dermis, cosmetic needling over time can definitely improve fine lines, etc. All those things that we do medical needling for. So you're gonna cleanse your skin very, very well. Now the next thing that you're gonna do is you're actually going to use an essence or a toner. I know that that's kind of crazy because we don't do that with medical needling. The idea here is that you have to imagine that we're planning to infuse. So you want to put something, everything that you put on your skin now is going to be things that get pushed in a little bit farther into this surface stratum corneum of your epidermis. So for me, I'm doing a use up. And if you missed that video, check it out. It was last week. I am going to use my SK2 because I'm going to try and be good, but you can use any essence or toner that is going to feed your skin. And the idea is to add value and nourishment to your skin. So this is not when you're going to use an alpha hydroxy acid or a beta hydroxy acid. This is when you're going to use something with humectants, something that's going to give your skin a drink of water or going to add a brightening ingredient. So choose an essence or a toner that you own and you use it at this point. Now is when we're going to start our cosmetic needling. So this is step three. We've done one cleanse, two tone slash essence, and then three is when we are going to start our needling. Now I'm going to use the Dr. Pen A6. It is an old faithful of mine. In fact, this is the fourth pen that I own in this version, the A6. I have purchased and given away this pen three times and just repurchased it again. And I've given it away because it's such a good pen that I love it and I want someone else to have it and then I miss it and I repurchase it. So I'm gonna use the A6. It is a just fantastic pen that is not too expensive and you can get the cartridges really, really easily. So that's what I'm going to use. You're going to set your pen at zero and then you're gonna use a cartridge for cosmetic needling. Now you can honestly choose whatever cartridge you want to, but 
a great cartridge for cosmetic needling is actually the 36 pin, which is fantastic because honestly, if you're anything like me and you microneedle medically often, you know that the 36 pin kind of gets set aside. It's the one that doesn't, you know, get used up very often and it is great for cosmetic needling. Now, so you're gonna choose your 36. If you don't have 36, grab a 12, grab whatever cartridge you have, right? But if you have a 36, this is a good time to use it. We are going to use hyaluronic acid in this phase. The reason why I'm choosing to use hyaluronic acid is simply because we need slip with the pen, but also because it's really relatively inexpensive and we're not going to waste any of the good stuff that we're gonna use here in a minute. Now, the hyaluronic acid that I have loved forever is by Cause de Baja. Now, I found this, you guys, probably two years ago, I think I started talking about this on this channel. And you know why I grabbed this one? It's because it's high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. And I think a lot of people are confused about what that means or why that's important. But I was using anti -age in office and I wanted a, a less expensive but very, very good alternative and I found this one. Now, the reason why it's important, it's a very, very simple formula, but high molecular weight is important because it's anti-inflammatory. That's really it. It is a large molecule that will sit on the top of your skin if you were just to apply it as skincare with no needling. So for that, it's kind of like, okay, it'll sit on the top surface of your skin. But when you're doing any kind of needling and cosmetic or medical needling, the weight makes a difference in its inflammatory nature. So high molecular weight hyaluronic acid is anti-inflammatory. And that's a really, really good thing to use while you're needling. Now, another option is the timeless hyaluronic acid. It is a very good option. So if you are someone who can't get a hold of the Cause de Baja, timeless is a great option. So you've set your pen at zero, you insert your cartridge, and you will turn your dial to 0 0.25. 0 0.25 is the perfect cosmetic depth. You can go touch higher, you can go a touch lower, but 0.25 is the perfect depth. You're gonna use your Cause de Baja for slip, and feel free to add as much as you need. You always wanna have really, really good slip. Now, for those of you who are using rollers, you are golden as well. Do not think that a roller is not good or that it can't be used. You do not have to have a pen to do this. You absolutely can have a roller. I subscribe to Dr. Lance Setterfield's entire way of thinking, and he says that rollers are just fine. And frankly, he says that the reason why rollers have been kind of vilified is because the pen industry kind of did that so that people would buy more pens, and I completely agree with that. So if you're somebody who owns a derma roller at 0 0.25, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, any of those, this protocol will work for you. Grab your roller. The difference is you will now roll on dry skin. You will not use hyaluronic acid. You don't need to. So this is when we are going to needle. So you're either gonna roll on dry skin or you are going to needle with your high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. This should take you maybe five minutes. You simply, I like to go in circular motion and I just go from one side of my face around to the other and all the way around. I hit all points of my face and I usually will go down my neck. I almost always go down my neck. Sometimes I get lazy and I don't go down my neck, but you really should. I do get to the top of the ocular bone and you're going to be a little bit pink. You absolutely shouldn't have blood, pinpoint bleeding. None of that stuff should happen. This is pretty superficial. Sometimes you can get a little bit of swelling right here if you're one of those people that reacts that way. Once you're done with that, I personally like to rinse the hyaluronic acid. I do this pretty quickly because those holes that we just made close really fast. So I like to rinse my face quickly and then I come back and that is when we start the infusion. Now what we're gonna use to infuse into our skin is copper peptides and the first one that I'm gonna use right now is by the brand Complete. And this one is one that was actually recommended to me by somebody in my Facebook group. It has really great ingredients, you guys. It has the copper peptide, of course, but then it also has ceramides. Now, ceramides are really fantastic when you have cosmetically needled because you definitely have, you know, affected your barrier. So you 
really probably are going to have some water loss. You're going to have some dehydration. So if you can get a product in that has some ceramides, you're going to help to kind of correct that barrier damage, if you will. Now, I love this one so far. I think it's been really great. You guys know that I love my CIAS by uh, Neod. Now, this one is still in the package and I haven't opened it. And I've dedicated myself this year to being a little bit more mindful with products. So rather than open this and use this one, I'm going to use this one up first because that is my mantra for this year. So go in with whatever copper peptide it is that you have. That is your next step. The step after that is going to be to use a growth factor. The one that I am using is by Brad Suticles. This is an excellent choice. I have used this for well over a year and it is definitely the closest thing that I have ever found to my beloved Antioge. Now, this is a cocktail of growth factors and I find the gold version to be very calming, very soothing, and I definitely believe that it helps to induce collagen and improve my skin as far as anti-aging. So growth factor goes next. We're just layering stuff on. At this point, what we're trying to do is we've created all of these holes, these microscopic holes in our face, and we're trying to infuse good stuff. The next thing that we're going to do, and this is going to be where it gets really interesting for a lot of you, is we are actually going to use a retinoid. Now, I do not recommend using a retin-A. If you are somebody who is experienced and you've done cosmetic needling and you've used tretinoin or retin-A and that works for you, that's fantastic. But I would say that for most people, just using a retinoid in a retinol or retinaldehyde form, which is a vitamin A, is great. Now what we are doing is we are infusing some vitamin A and it is gonna give you a very, very minor surface peel. You may not even see the peel. There may not even be any actual flakes or anything like that but basically you've given this retinol an avenue to get in just a little bit deeper and give you a little bit more skin rejuvenation it is fantastic with cosmetic needling this one in particular is by dermatology and it's also in my use ups basket i i added several things to my use of this basket after my video last week because I'm like, I really need to focus on this. And I'm only using this up, not because I don't love it, but because I do not want it to go bad because it's so good. This one does also have a vitamin C derivative. Now, if any of you savvy people out there are watching and you are like, wait a second, you can't use copper peptides in vitamin C. It's a vitamin C derivative that will be just fine with my copper peptide. So I'm putting that one on next. I know that this might sound like a lot of stuff, but we're only doing this once a week, you guys. So, it, and it really goes pretty fast. The last thing that I'm going to do is put on a moisturizer. That's going to be the entire protocol. Now, the one that I'm using is another use up and that is by La Roche-Posay. This is a use up, you guys, but I'll be repurchasing this because I always have this on hand. This is the Tolarian Night. Now, this has niacinamide in it and it is an absolutely lovely night moisturizer product. Now, niacinamide is vitamin B3. It's very, very helpful with your barrier function, but this one is just fantastic for overnight repair, soothing. It's a beautiful, beautiful product. So I slather this on over all of those other things and that's it. Now, when I wake up the next morning, sometimes you might be a little pink still. You might have a little tiny bit of pink. That's completely normal. All we're gonna do in the morning, we keep it pretty simple. And it's okay to wear makeup, it's okay to do all of that. The holes that we created, those tiny little holes that we created the day before, completely closed, they are done. But we are going to use vitamin C, it's gonna be very, very important. You can choose whether or not you wanna wash your skin in the morning. So you can wash your face. I like to use Vanna Cream. it's one of my favorites. I have several favorites, I have three that are my top three favorites, but Vanna Cream is a fantastic choice and it's inexpensive and it's just really good, fragrance-free, the whole nine. 
I like to wash my face and then I apply a vitamin C. This is the vitamin C that I've been using. I talked about this in my favorites, I think from November and I'm probably halfway through this bottle. Again, I am really trying to focus on use ups. So I got this one from Leah at Skin Beautiful RX. It is a vitamin C derivative, but it also has some brightening ingredients in there. It has some glutathione and some other things that are gonna help with my hyperpigmentation. So vitamin C the next day is really, really important because it is the complement to the copper peptides, the growth factors, and the vitamin A, the niacinamide. All of these things are going to work synergistically to help repair your skin and set it on track for the results that I'm going to show you in the before and afters that we're going to see here in just a minute. So whatever vitamin C that it is that you have is fantastic. This is the one that I'm using. I like to cocktail in a little bit more antioxidants. So that's where my mysama comes in. You don't have to have mysama, but if you have another antioxidant serum that you really, really love, it's a great time to go with it with your vitamin C. I like mysama because it's a green rooibos pressed serum and it's just beautiful. I find it to be a beautiful, hydrating, and protective type serum. Not to mention the experience of using my Sama is just wonderful. It has one of those scents naturally from the green rooibos that's delectable and I love it. So I put this on next and then I put a moisturizer. The moisturizer that I typically use right now and I have for several months is my green tea water balm from Bonajour literally one of the least expensive, fabulous moisturizers I have ever used in my entire life. It's like $15 and it lasts like four months for me or something. I will use that next. And then the last thing that I do is a sunscreen. That is the complete protocol. In this protocol, you have fed your skin vitamins, you have turned over your skin, you have helped your texture, you have done the things that will help to brighten your tone and your pigment, and then of course you have protected, nourished, and hydrated your skin as well. It is the best cosmetic needling in a nutshell, AM and PM. Now for me, this is once a week, and I am dedicating myself to do Doing cosmetic needling once a week for the next six months. That is my plan. I'm going to document it and see how my skin changes over the next six months. Cosmetic needling like this is also perfect if you are somebody who is thinking about doing any kind of procedures that are more invasive. This is a great way to really work on your skin because you can do any of the procedures that you guys want to do, but if your skin isn't super, super healthy, it's not gonna look as good as it could. So cosmetic needling is a fantastic way to get your skin in great, great shape. Okay, we are gonna move on to the before and after pictures. I'm going to show you guys those and then I'm going to finish out this video. Okay, let's look at these before and afters. I will link the book in the description box and cite the source, of course. The first photo is of a 55 year old woman who was treated with product for 18 months and then a 0.3 millimeter roller for six months. There's six months between the two photographs, but you can definitely see an improvement in her fine lines and her tone and her texture. So you can attribute her results, of course, to product and then also cosmetic needling. The next photo is a 60 year old who was treated twice in a one year period with a one millimeter roller. So two different times this person got medical needling, but the entire rest of that year, they did 0.3 millimeter needling twice a week. So these results are that of only two times doing medical needling one time apart and the entire rest of the year cosmetic needling and these photos are taken a year apart you can definitely see a major improvement in fine lines texture hydration everything the next photo is a 54 year old woman who was treated for pro with products for two years and a 0.2 millimeter roller for 10 months so those of you out there with those 0.2 rollers look at these results her tone, her clarity, her fine lines, her pigment. She has a ton of improvement in her skin in just 10 months with rolling with a 0.2 millimeter roller. Of course, also with products, but we're incorporating products in this protocol as well. 
I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with somebody you think might like it. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.